Alrighty guys, it's your boy RPG Fans Only Show here, aka Retro Boy Worlds here, and uh, we are back here continuing on with Magic Knight Ray Earth Part 3. Last time where we left off, I explored a little bit of the map, doing some map testing, showing you off the different places uh, around the map as far as, as of now. And uh, yeah, so to continue on the main story, first of all, I upgraded my guy to level 4, so she's a level 4 now. Uh, actually, she's a level 5. Um, so as you see, her HP and all that is already pretty much maxed out. Uh, by max stars, you'll pretty much be overpowered. Uh, so continuing off, last time where you checked, we went to this cave area. Um, I didn't go in it quite yet because I wanted to gain that extra level before I did so. And uh, oh, and the game lags out sometimes. All right, but uh, yeah. So continue on, let's head inside of here. We are going to have our first boss battle in this cave. This cave can be a little confusing. Uh, I didn't manage to clean out my Game Boy. I just, I didn't know how to clean it. But uh, some of the glitching has apparently stopped. Uh, graphic glitching. So yeah, we're going to go take on our first boss, which is going to be like this ogre monster. We're going to use our magic ability. He should only take one hit. But uh, we do have enough MP to cast it two or three times, so... Uh, this should probably be one of the easiest boss battles in the game. As long as you're highly leveled up, you know, enemies don't really do too much. The level scaling in this game is generous, so uh, keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah. So there are missing. You can't miss in this game. It's when your lady falls. Oh, here we go again. Evil spider. Alright, so this guy looks like a copper and a toad. Oh, just, man, just die already, you demonic flower. Thank you. Yeah, this guy is the one that's terrorizing. He's the one that sent those guys at the village that try to attack and then, you know, destroy the village, basically. He's the big mastermind head honcho. Once we kill him, we should be generously offered a reward. If not, we should be granted access. Oh. And the game has decided to lag on me again. I don't know what that is, but uh, I really do have to clean out my Game Boy. It's really, like, glitchy. So we're going to have to traverse through that again. Just going to slowly do that. This will be post-commentary until we get back to the boss. So when you level up, your abilities actually, this is actually a new enemy, when you level up, your abilities actually have different attack animations, like level 1, this ability right here only shot out one fire, uh, one fire bolt, now at level 4, it fires out multiple fire bolts. Oh man, combat is uh, serious. We should kill this boss within like one hit, because we are more leveled than we are actually supposed to be, over leveled. I need to grab all my experience points back because we're gonna need those. Yeah, they are easy to come by, but uh, certain areas like this, enemies do give you a little bit more experience points. All enemies also take like about a hit too. Wow, the random encounters were a lot more than they were when I first went through this cave. The game probably is trying to say that I'm cheating and is trying to punish me for that. Yeah, it's clearly it wants to punish me. But we haven't had any blank screens so hopefully the boss doesn't glitch out again. But uh, to be on the safe side, I'm going to save here. Okay, so like I said, this fires out the majority of like damn near all the bolts. We only did, we did like one, and every level it fires out another bolt. So now that I'm level like five or some shit like that, it's firing out like more than five bolts, but you get the premise of what I'm saying. 
the higher level you get, the stronger your ability actually does. Because I think you only get one ability per player. I think you get maybe multiple. For the most part, you only get one ability. And uh, they just, it just gets more upgraded the farther along you go. And it starts doing different types of attack animations. This game was a very simplistic RPG for its time. And that's, uh, that's a plus for me. I have no problem with simplistic RPGs. They don't get generic and they for sure don't get boring to me. And now the complicated ones do because then they, my brain starts to hurt. And I just want to play the game and I have to do these complicated intricate puzzles and shit. Like, bruh. Just, just take me to the Final Fantasy 1 tactics and just bring me to the action. Seems like the glitching has come back. No matter. It doesn't entirely affect gameplay, so. So after killing that boss, we are even closer to gaining our other level. Kill that monster you have gradually requested me to do. And thank you. Oh, you're in the way, man. You need to be positioned somewhere else. You're like the first thing I see when I walk out the door. That's not a good look. There's that dialogue I was teaching you guys about. Alrighty, so we want to thank her before we go. She's very beautiful, I mean, even for a digital character. I must lie. I must lie. <laughs> for the sake of the viewers, I must lie. We're all happy. Ah, damn. You have wings, that's not fair. Shit, go. He's probably gonna take me around the roller coaster ride again. I'm generally good on that. So, yeah, apparently, stealing from people's closets activates animations. Pretty interesting, I guess you could say. Okay, no more roller coaster rides. I'll. I appreciate that. <laughs> Didn't like the first few ones. Hey there, pal. Nope. Alrighty. Townspeople are excited. A lot of dialogue, as you can see, is going on. So I'm, our next spot would be going back to that other place that I showed you guys, so that way you guys have a recognition of you know how we're going to continue the story. Um, let's go and actually talk to this guy one more time, see if the dialogue has changed. Nope. Alright, so we pretty much got our next objective. He's cool with it. He's cool with it. Uh, yeah, we'll start heading over that way. For the sake of this video, I'd rather be closer to it than uh, farther from it when I start uh, part four of this. But yeah, these videos are going to be surely fairly short and uh, somewhat have a lot of content because Game Boy games are not really long. So for the most part, I will try to play through at least this character and maybe the other two characters. At least I, I think, uh, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm not sure if I do have to actually go through this place again. But I think I was given an item in, in order to open up. These guys should take about two hits. Yeah, they're still a little strong. 
We're good for our sixth level though. Which we shall be gaining shortly. If they just left us alone. Oh! Yeah, glitching still exists. Okay. Now this will be our second dungeon of the game. And then this will lead us into that town, a little, little village right there, that house right there on the side. Uh, so yeah. I will give it back to you guys when uh, we start this for part four. So I'll see you guys then. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure you like, subscribe, give some feedback. As always, fans, until next time, bye-bye.